and get more knowledge before the market open. So we prepared this webinar, especially for the solutions for fixed LED market. I hope all of you will have a better understanding for the solutions, products, and even market trend, which may help you on your career or business. Okay, now let's start today's topic. During the webinar, if you have any questions, you can just test your questions in the, in the box. The advanced solution for fixed LED installation. Here are the main solutions for the fixed LED installation. By last week, Liu and Markers has finished the smart city and commercial display solutions. Also with Linux and software training. Hope you still remember you can also send us your questions here if you still have any doubts about that. And that's one part of our solutions for fixed LED installation market. We have prepared more for you, like meeting room, Nova all-in-one solution, high image quality, and XR solution. So today's topic is meeting room solution and Nova all-in-one solution. Both comes with new product. Let's start with the first one, meeting room solution. We call it meet us solution. It's a trend that more and more meeting rooms requires big LED displays for better image quality so the challenge for Nova is to make the best interactive experience and viewing experience. How we improve the interactive experience? First one, mirroring technology. For the meeting room, mirroring is the basic function. You must need to mirror the PowerPoint to demonstrate Sometimes you also need to mirror the pictures or figures. And at the most time, multi people need to share the content through their devices. Is it possible to make it more efficient and stable? Can multi people share the content at the same time? Yes, our technology can make the latency below 200 milliseconds and within two seconds to cast your content to the LED display. Four devices mirroring at the same time, even up to eight devices. It supports Windows, iOS, and Android. You can use a different platform and switch the video source via app. Sounds awesome. Second one, for meeting purpose, writing and annotation should be a basic function. So you may need a touch LED display. However, it will be costly and you may also face the heat and high brightness problem from LEDs. So the better way is to remote control your LED display. Our wireless writing and annotation is amazing. You can remote control the LED via different small devices. It is Android platform based and multi people can do it at the same time. Most importantly, it leads to synchronous collaboration. Moreover, our wireless interaction is high effective like seamless switching display effect, IR protection mode, and remote screen snap. Sometimes you may also need touch LED display. We also support it. Let's see how it works. 
the performance is high so that you can see it operates smoothly. You can do all the settings by touching the screen. This technology is based on infrared. The LED screen is just normal, nothing special. It's not the touch LED, so the cost will be lower down. And the experience is nice. Let's look how it's right. Oops, sorry. This technology is, is awesome. It's not the, the touch LED, so the cost will be very lower. What we need to do is just to add one infrared border so it can detect our gestures. It will communicate with our meeting box to let LED display react in a very short time. And let's see how it works when we are writing. The writing is smooth and it's low latency. And you can also do Okay, so that's about the interactive experience. Now, let's look at viewing experience. Speaking of meeting room LED display, normally we are facing problems for high brightness, blue ray, counter line and false color. Let's see what solutions we provide for you. First one, for high brightness problem, you can easily change the LED brightness from multi devices. At the same time, we provide display effect mode. You can easily switch your display to standard mode, soft mode, theater mode, and video mode, making your display to adapt to different scenarios. Second one, air protection mode. We all know the blue ray is harmful for our eyes. So we may have anti-blue ray glasses. And for TVs, pad, phones, we may normally enable eye protection mode to reduce the blue ray. Now for LED display, we can also enable this function to reduce the harmful blue ray by one third. Third one, high image quality. We can increase your display grayscale level to 22 base plus to make your display show more details and precise grayscale to solve counter line problem to make your display showing more detail. Also, also it support HDR and you have to provide HDR content or I think mostly you will not have HDR content, then this high-end feature is wasted, right? Don't worry, we will also have new product called HDR Master to convert normal content to HDR content. Sounds great, right? My colleague Oscar will give you introduction about it by next week. And color management. To adjust your display to show a natural skin color, please note all these features I talked are only supported by our A8i's or A10s plus receiving card. That's all about high image quality. Now let's look at the controller for the meeting room display, Mi Box 200 Pro. It can support up to 1920 by 1080 at 60 Hertz, one audio out, one Ethernet port for LED setup, one USB 2.0 and one USB 3.0 to support mouse, keyboard, USB flash drive and other common USB devices. One SPDIF for digital fiber optic audio output and three HDMI 2.0 inputs. As for outputs, 
It has eight LED outputs, but it's not all for loading capacity. Still 2.3 million pixels. We believe for meeting room display, the backup is necessary. So we designed four outputs as main and four outputs as backup. And one OPT for fiber output to support long distance. Means you can also put it at table where the distance can be very long to the display. And one HDMI output to connect a 1080p LCD monitor for debugging and monitoring. So that's about our Meet Us solution. Now, let's look at the next part, all-in-one solution. We all know that Novastar is the first company which innovate and leads, the in the, leads this technology into the LD industry. Let's have a quick review about it. In 2011, the LD system is like this. We need multi sending cards and video processor to load the LD display. We need Windows computer to configure the LD display and also need MacBook to give the video source and need the video processor to scale it. And later on, we had innovation every year like M control 500, 600, 660 to make the system structure more simple. Till 2015, we had all-in-one controller VX4S to make the most simple system structure ever. I think most of you are already very familiar with our all-in-one solution. It's good to hear that we already sold around 15,000 pieces VX series only in South Asia market. Let's just have a quick review for this classic model, VX4S. You can use it as a controller. Also, you can use it as a switcher and scaler. Meanwhile, you can use it as a splicer. It also support PIP function. And the main feature, main technology for it, and which is also the most popular function for our clients is no PC required for screen configuration and auto scale. And after that, we launched VX5Eyes. It looks very smart and friendly. This is the inputs of VX5Eyes, including two, SD, uh, two SDI, two HDMI, two VGA, two CDBIs, one DVI, and one USB. Also, VX5Eyes can support audio input. It has an abundant video source input to fulfill different requirements. And here is the output of VX5 eyes. It has six RG45 outputs with large loading capacity, 3.9 million pixels. Also, it has one DVI monitor output. Now, let's talk about capacity calculation. The six outputs can support 3.9 million pixels. For single Ethernet port, it can support 650,000 pixels. Suppose that you are using P3, the resolution of each cabinet is 192 by 192. So 17 LD cabinet can be loaded for each port. Then one VX5 eyes can load 105 cabinets. In the same way, for P3.91, one VX5 eyes can load 
240 cabinets. And I will also introduce more features for VS5 eyes. The first feature is switcher mode. This DVI port can connect to a preview monitor. The six Ethernet port will, will connect to the LED display. You can edit a program on the monitor firstly, then choose the tick button on the front panel after confirmation. Then it will display the new program. And next, next feature, building PC and Android. This feature, we are the first to add in LD video processor. We built an Android PC inside of this device. It has 4 GB internal memory to store your content and the content can be played by from the processor directly. You can just need to use a mouse to connect with a USB port. Then you can play back all the contents. That's a magical operation. And this is a built-in playback player, Vplex M player. After connecting with the LCD monitor through the DVI port, you will see a video playlist on the media player. Then you can choose any videos and play. By the way, you can also use pen drive to plug in and play any videos as you need, like MP4, RMVB, and so on. As we built an Android PC inside of VX5 eyes, so you can use mobile app to communicate with this processor. Here is the main interface of this app, Vplex Handy. You can do the screen configuration, switch the video source. Also, you can save, uh, save some presets accordingly. There are many interesting and useful functions on this app. And this is the third feature of VX5 eyes. It can enable three layers on the LED display and auto scaling on every layer. Also, you can give different video source to different layers. Like you can play a PowerPoint on the first window, a video on the second window, a live TV for the third window, Meanwhile, you can enable a company logo or some tests besides these three layers. We also have a special software which is called VCAN to control this processor. Like you can save 16 presets and it is seamless switching. This is another feature of VX5 eyes. All your inputs and outputs can be backup. For, for example, you can set DVI as the backup of SDI. If the SDI signal meets some problems, it will switch to DVI automatically, which can keep your system more stable and more perfectly. And there are also more features like in the video port configuration, like in the video color and brightness correction on, on, on every input and, and the RCFG storing capacity, EDID manager, auto scaling on every window, RCFG load from front panel, and all these features, I believe, will be helpful for your 
projects. So that's the first generation all in one. VX4S is equal to one M control 660 plus one video processor. And after that, VX5S is equal to M control 660 Pro plus one video processor. And after the first generation, we not stop the innovation. Here comes 4K Prime. Now let's have a short look at this device. This is the front panel and back panel of 4K Prime. 4K Prime will bring you a real 4K experience. This is the back panel of 4K Prime. We can see the inputs and outputs, obviously. It supports four DVI inputs for mosaic function. DVI-1 and DVI-3 are dual-link DVI, while DVI-2 and DVI-4 are single-link DVI. The input resolution of dual-link DVI can be up to 4K by 1K at 60 Hertz. Also, it supports real 4K inputs, DP 1.2 and HDMI 2.0. The resolution can be up to 4K by 2K at 60 Hertz. The second feature of 4K Prime is large loading capacity. This is the output of 4K Prime. It provides 16 Ethernet ports and four optical fiber ports. The loading capacity can be up to 10.4 million pixels. And the maximum width is 16384. The maximum height is 8192. With 4K Prime, you will get a high image quality. Nova Star Scaler algorithm has an excellent performance. It will review the image in details and ensure the image has good sharpness after scaling. From the comparison, we can see very obviously. The picture on the left side is made by Common and the right picture is made by Nova Star. 4K Prime also supports DVI mosaic. Four DVI inputs can be spliced to a 4K by 2K video source. Meanwhile, it can be used as an independent video source. For the DVI mosaic function, it can support different patterns of layout, like up and down, left and right, and so on. For single link mode, it supports seven layouts. For dual link mode, it supports two layouts. One more important is, is that optical fiber solution for long distance signal transmission. The same 4K prime can work as either sending card or fiber converter. Let's see the picture. It can support four fiber ports each channel controls eight Ethernet ports. The first two channels is used for the primary connect connection. Another two channels can be used for backup function with 10 gigabytes bandwidth optical fiber. The distance of signal transmission can be up to 10 kilometers. In the backup pattern of fiber solution, the first 4K prime can be used as master device. Another device is used for backup. When one of the devices or line cable meet problems, another one will work automatically. It will be more stable for the on-site project. Apart from above functions, 4K Prime also supports HDR effect to improve the image quality and show more details, which make us be more closer to, the, to see the nature color. So that's 
our second generation all-in-one, 4K Prime. It's no PC required, auto skill, DVI mosaic, real 4K, support VCAN software, HDR, fiber outputs, with so many wonderful features. And this is all Nova all-in-one products, VX series. You can refer it whenever you need to choose a proper model for your LED display. At the left part is mentioned about the LED display size in pixels. For example, if your LED display is within 1.3 million pixels, you can choose VX1, VX2S, or VX2U or are two LD outputs, the layers, the input source, and some additional features may be different. And I'm gonna show you some cases which we have done recently. This one is an arrow show in India, which used multi 4K prime and VX5 eyes. And this one is an international meeting, which used two 4K prime, one as main and one as backup. And what's next? As we all know, the LD pixel page gets smaller, the size gets bigger, the resolution gets higher, and the requirements gets more and then the system will be very complex. So now we are launching H series, design it your way. Firstly, I'd like to ask a question. How do we manage the, the screens like this? We have an 8K LD display in the middle and some smaller ones on both sides. Okay, here is a solution. Even if we use the most popular 4K all-in-one controllers, the system structure will be like this. There are 12 pieces 4K controllers to drive the wall including backup and a big video processor up front. Some of you may wonder if with so many devices, there will be too many cables to manage like this. <clears throat> and we may worry about the tearing issue. We don't want our system to have too many devices, too many cables, or compatibility issue, nether image tearing. So with our brand new screen management system, H-series, those won't bother you anymore. So now we are entering into the third generation all-in-one. We know the fine pixel page getting more popular. We find out the video processing and capacity couldn't really meet the project's need. 4K size of screen is everywhere and can be controlled easily by NovaStar 4K Prime. However, there are a lot of screens over 4K size now in the market as for an 8K display. Clients have to use multiple devices to cascade. The operation is not so easy and the budget is also high. So we have been researching how to make the video processing and loading functions more powerful while keeping the budget in a good range for Novastar users. This is the design concept of each series to integrate as much as possible in one device. So it's our H series family. H series is the most integrated processor with 
modular design. It can use 4K and 8K application easily. The whole design is extremely user friendly. Next, let's take a look at the details one by one. To match projects better, each series comes with whole modular design. From inputs to outputs, even power supply, it is fully configurable, making it possible for clients to select inputs and outputs according to their own need. For inputs, here are the options, including the mainstream ones like HDMI 2.0, DP 1.2, HDMI 1.3, 3G SDI, 12G SDI, and IP stream. For outputs, there are two options for LED control. One is in the left part, you can see there is 16 RG45 plus two fiber slots, if you need fiber. And the other one, uh, which is in the right part, is 20 RG45, if you prefer having more ports and more loading capacity. And MVR card is available too. The maximum loading capacity of each series is 130 million pixels equals to 15 pieces 4K prime. Per output card is real 4K and you can configure the, the, the device to, to much even larger as you wish. Next, let's see the user-friendly features together. First one is free layers. The window size can be customized to any size under 8K, and you can put it anywhere in canvas. Size and position are both free. As for layer quantity, poor output cards support 16 by 2K layers and four 4K layers. So the total quantity depends on how many output and second one is the web page control. You don't need to install the app on PC or the configurations can be done in browser via its IP address. Left part is the video source control panel. It will, it will be showing the video sources connection status. And right part is the canvas for configuration the operations is easy and simple. There are two helpful features. One is the input cropping to create multiple crops of the same signal. The other one is the multi-user account, which is helpful in installations by giving different access to different users. The third feature is the presets. Here you can save up to 2000 presets. The fading and fade out time can be customized from zero to one second. In addition, you will be able to monitor the inputs and outputs with MVR card. And as for fiber, there are two types of fiber boxes to work with, CVT4K and CVT10. Both supports 10G SFP module. So one SFP can handle, and, uh, can handle eight Ethernet ports. And CVT10 is just newly released. It's a smaller version, which will be more cost effective with 10 ethernet ports to connect to the LED display. Okay. So this is the fiber solution to use for the long distance transmission. And each series also be, uh, will be same as 4K prime. You can also use two H series devices and one as a controller, as a sending one, and another one can be as the 
the fiber converter. Okay, so there are other features. They also have other features like um, low latency, sync, HDR, 3D, which you can send us questions if you are interested. And here is the selection guide of all the options. You have H2, H5, H9, and H15. The number refers to physical size of the rack. You can choose the ones use your project from the chart. For example, like H2 means 2U and the maximum input card is four input cards. Four means uh, one input card has four, LD uh, four, four video inputs. So four by four is 16. And the maximum output cards is two. Two means you can choose like uh, one uh, 16 LD outputs plus two fiber. So it means uh, the maximum can be 32 LD outputs, or you can choose the 20 LD outputs uh, output card. So it means in total 40 LD outputs. And the maximum loading capacity will be like 208,000 pixels, a million pixels. Okay, so let's see some cases which we done recently. This is one control room in South of India. And this one is a traffic monitor room in Middle East is using 1H5. And this is one showroom in China is using H5. Nowadays, like this kind of the application is more and more popular here in China. People are using more bigger and bigger displays and to show this kind of the video content. And this is one bar in China using H2. Let's see. There, there are a lot of out displays inside of the bar. So you have, so you, it's required to use many video inputs and to make many layouts. And H series is, very suitable and easy for this kind of application. And this is one demo room in one technology cooperation using 1H5. Okay, so that's about our all-in-one, new all-in-one, the third all-in-one H series. Okay, at last, let's just review about our Nova fixed installation solution. For the smart city and commercial display, which Liu and Marcus talked about it by last week, I just list the main solutions here. 
and also the main products is at the right side. So you can have a reference for it. Like for all these applications, we can use our products suitable for it is like from TB1, TB2, TB4 to GTB100, TCB300, et cetera. And all the accessories like the monitoring cards, M1300, like a hub card, the light sensor, function card, and also the Vinox cloud system, et cetera. So, and for today's topic, the meeting room and all-in-one solution, which is normally used for, for example, like the, okay, let's start one by one. For the meeting room, the applications normally will be used for like education and also the smart conference. And the product suitable for it is Mi Box 200 Pro, which I talked before in this in today's uh, webinar. And also we'll have Mi Box 400, which will be launching soon, uh, which can support much bigger display. We will have the bigger loading capacity. Okay, and for the all-in-one solutions, uh, for all these kind of the scenarios, our products from the low-end VX1 to the high-end H series, all will be suitable, all will be the outstanding products for this kind of the scenarios. And, and also like the media server, the central controller, which will all be coming soon. We are already developing and innovating many new and uh, new and advanced features for it. So let's just wait for it. And after this, the high image quality and XR studio, which I think will be the future, the trend for us. And for this two topic by next week, uh, Mr. Oscar will give the introduction for these two parts. And What's more, let's talk about one new arrival, which will come very soon, VX1000. It has 10 LED outputs, full digital inputs, and we have outstanding features like input backup, fiber, low latency, three layers, and 3D. Please follow up our official Facebook, LinkedIn, or any other social media sources. And we will also send you newsletters about the news once it can be sold. Okay, so that's all about today's webinar. And uh, now we are enter into Q&A part. So please send any questions here and my colleague Marcus, and we will all be here to help you to answer the questions one by one. 